Hello, hello everybody, Jay from Studios here to give you a special video. This right here, I'm just gonna tell you guys the history of my very first OC, Jeff Jefferson. And I hope you enjoy this little uh, speed paint video of me uh, finishing up his official character uh, model sheet. And yeah, <laughs> that's uh, it is what it is, Jeff Jefferson. Well, I'm just going to be real with you. Jeff, when I first made him, he was basically me. I was about 10 years old, 4th grade, and I was into Pokemon. I love Pokemon so much that I wanted to make my own Pokemon books and adventures. You know, I just wanted to, you know, I was curious. You know, I was kind of getting out of Rugrats and, you know, and... I was making my own little fanfics, I guess, of the Rugrat characters. I was draw I was still drawing stick figures at this time. But, you know, it's all thanks to Pokemon that I decided to, hmm, maybe I should draw in this, uh, in this style, this, this anime style. So I did. I attempted it. Back in fourth grade, I made this book, and I called it, no kidding, Pokemon The Movie 3. Because I knew that uh, Pokemon 2000 was out, or uh, it was about to go out, uh, I just wanted to see if I could make the third movie. But it was starring me, aka Jeff, the Pokemon adventurer, and his uh, beloved Squirtle, and Jesse and James from Team Rocket. They were good guys, because I liked them so much. And Jeff's friends, Kevin and Kendall, they were on a grand adventure to find a guy um, to, you know, just to battle him in a Pokemon match. And eventually the bad guy, he was the bad guy. And eventually, because he lost the Pokemon battle, he got angry and then uh, he died. We, uh, you know, I guess Jeff and his friends uh, killed him. <laughs> it was terrible. So terrible. It's something you expect from, you know, me as a 10 year old. You know, I, I didn't know anything about plot structure. It went all over the place. So yeah, that was Jeff, Jeff Jefferson's debut. And then I got out of Pokemon and wanted to experiment on different genres like adventure. And I wanted to try out my own original ideas. Like I remember this book called Battle in the Rubik's Cute Islands. That's where Taylor first appeared, but I'll get to that in Taylor's video. Uh, Jeff, you know, long story short, you know, he was stuck in an island. Uh, one of the islands, you know, in the Rubik's Cube Islands, you know, it's it's called. I, I remembered. I called it Krakatoa Two, and he was befriending the natives and uh, finding a, a mystical artifact for them. <laughs> but that, but you know, he was. I remember he was sword fighting with a Australian dude <laughs> in that island. <laughs> And then somehow it ended up with uh, both Jeff and Taylor, you know, finding each other. And uh, I remember the climax ended in a, in a in a supermarket. Jesus! So yeah, from there, I um, I like the idea of Taylor and, and and Jeff being friends. So I attempted to make uh, other books starring the boys. The first one, Two Big Idiots. It was about Jeff and Taylor in a going to an alternate uh, alternate dimension, <laughs> and it was basically a whole bunch of random stuff. Um, I remember at the time my cousin was living with us, and we had a whole bunch of inside jokes and memes between each other. Even though they weren't called memes at the time, they were just funny inside jokes. So I put the those inside jokes in the book. Of course, I never finished it, but I kind of wish I did. And, yeah, these old books, I threw them away. You what? I know. Never throw away your old drawings. Never. That's a mistake I made. Those are considered lost media. Jeff and Taylor lost media. I should make a, a video about that. The iceberg of Jeff and Taylor lost media. Go to it, champ. I continued to make Two Big Idiots around elementary school and then middle school. And then it wasn't until I was a freshman in high school where I decided, okay, I gotta decide what to do with my boys, Jeff and Taylor. So I gave Jeff his, his official last name, Jefferson, because it sounded nice. 
Jeff Jefferson. Shout out to all the real Jeff Jeffersons out there. Because I'm, I'm sure there are plenty. Um, so I decided to distance myself away from Jeff because uh, I didn't want people to think that I'm narcissistic and you know I put myself in this in this book. I always say that both you know Jeff and I we share the same name but we're different. He has a totally different personality than me. You know, even though I put a little bit of myself into him, I still put a little bit of myself into every character of mine anyway. But Jeff, you know, uh, a lot of his personality is, you know, is uh, inspired by one of my friends who loves history, science, and reading, so I put those traits into Jeff. And I remember in the early days of JNT, um, I was kind of going out with this girl called, named Sarah. She was going to be in the comic, and she was going to be Jeff's girlfriend. But, you know, we, that relationship fell through, and it inspired me to uh, make up a new character named Jane. And that was going to, and that, and Jane is, you know, Jeff's love interest. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I think I'll talk about their relationship in Jane's video. But yeah, Jeff Jefferson, he is a interesting dude. He's not the most popular character of mine, I've noticed. I mean, there are a few, you know, a handful of people that, that, that like Jeff Jefferson, which, you know, it's kind of cool. I'm sure he thinks it's cool. But, you know, that's, that's basically the gist of Jeff's history. I made him up as a little avatar of mine. You know, he was originally me, but then I... You know, wanted to make him into his own thing. That's why, in the books, I don't ca I don't call myself Jeff Mujica. I call myself Jose F. Mujica because if people say if, you're, if people read Jeff, and they'll get, they'll automatically assume that it's about me. And of course, they always ask, "Who's Taylor?" And Taylor's completely made up, partly made up. I'll explain that in Taylor's video next time. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, Jeff's little history, and I hope you uh, like the uh, model sheet. Alright guys, I'll see you next time. Jeff, I'm out. Goodbye.